So this weekend I got a care package to the moon, amigos. I picked this up on Monday. Um, you guys know who this is from. Nafs, Ben Peterson, everybody's favorite guy in the knife industry. Uh, and it's, it's just a little care package. It's got a lot of stuff in here, a little note. Uh, but the main thing is the knife. And this is really uh, what, what this video is about. Not the knife, but what the knife made me think of uh, or think about. It's a video I've been trying to do for a long time. Literally been on the docket for like two years. And I put it on my schedule and I push it back. And I put it on my schedule and I push it back. I cannot answer the question. So we're gonna try to answer that question today. How much should you spend on a knife? By God, we're gonna try. But before we answer that question, uh, there was a very specific thing on this note from Ben. Uh, he said, I have no expectations from anything in this box zero expectations except that you eat the mexican sucker on camera so we got to eat that sucker <sighs> there's a lot of cool stuff in there. there's mints patch um, some spare scales which i actually already put on the knife a tool burrito this was the knife box some uh honing compound and then a little mouse pad uh but ice cream sandwich i want to try this too in this tool roll there is there's some cool stuff, right? Another strop. Uh, looks like nano lube and some tools. But there is this Mexican sucker. Look at this thing. Just, just look at it. He tells me I need to eat this on camera. And there's no information about it. Mango Ola Guapo. Guapas? Uh, that's all it says. Caramel chili mango. All right. Screw it. Oh. That... <laughs> Dude, I don't know. It definitely smells like chili powder. All right. That does not sound good. Okay. Oh, it's like tart. I, I don't hate it, but it's not... There's definitely mango in there, too. That is not... like salty and sour and mango i have no idea how to explain this that's all the information we have though it's very sour <laughs> and salty like what the hell i've never had a sucker like that i don't hate it i don't love it uh, anyway thank you for this care package ben um it's really cool stuff obviously tool burrito lander knife but this this made me think about this video that i've been putting on for so long hang on like dry my mouth out <laughs> and, and the reason is this knife originally made me think of the ontario dude my mouth is so dry <laughs> oh it's so dry ah oh, my, my lips are sticking to my teeth and I will never trust you again. Okay, so back to the knife that kind of sparked this idea, this old video idea I've been kicking around for so long. The more I try to plan this, the more I realize there's just no one answer. And that's not news to anybody. Everybody has a different budget. Everybody wants different things. Everybody likes different things. That's what's so great about the variety of this industry. But there are a few questions that kind of complicate this answer. What is the knife for? Who is the knife for? What do you actually plan on doing with the knife? Do you actually plan on using it? Does that matter to you? Is it a grail or a beater? Do you plan on outfitting it with a whole bunch of stuff? Like there's so many questions that complicate the, the original question. Uh, so the answer is, is really not easy, but the more I've spent time on this, the more I've realized I really just like to overthink all of this stuff and try to have the most complete answer ever. And it's, it's not really possible it would this one it's not so i'm going to do something i don't normally do and i'm going to try to be as sweet and short with this as possible although we're already like four minutes in but like yeah i'm gonna try wish me luck <laughs> you like that don't you the, the light switch was actually not my idea it was my wife's she did it when i wasn't here one day so i'm not the child she is but it's still funny. So another thing 
that I think is going to happen in the comments is that people are going to accuse me of not really being uh, or not really knowing what it's like to buy these knives or because I get so many free knives and I did not cherry pick these knives that are in these rolls right here. These are not cherry picked at all. This is literally what I carry in my bag every day. I just take them around and I'll swap my knives out. And then these have been sitting on this table. I did pull some to fill them up, but I pulled them at random. Good knives that I like, but we could go through the whole case and I'll show you this. I'm just gonna show you which ones were given to me and which ones I bought, just to set the record straight, okay? Purchased, uh, sent to me for a video. Purchased, 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 sent to me, purchased, purchased, sent to me, purchased, sent to me. Okay, so what's that? Three, four out of 16. So that's a fourth of them were sent to me. That's still like $3,000 in knives that I purchased. Purchased, purchased, sent, purchased, 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 sent, sent, purchased, purchased. It's about the same, like, I probably buy three quarters of the knives I have, which is absurd, but it means that I do know kind of what it's like. It is a little different for me because I make money talking about knives and I can justify it. It's a business expense. Like, it is a little bit different, but I have a lot of skin in the game. I've purchased hundreds of knives over the last, like, four years. So, just to set the record straight. Okay, so now, down here, how much money should you spend on a knife? I have no idea. Even now, I'm like dreading making this video. I, I have no <laughs> real answer. So I'm gonna do my best. And I think the place that we should start is the point of diminishing returns. Where it's is considered it? considered uncouth. The knife landscape has changed it's so many knives actually symbolizes that really some really, 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 really good knives. Some knives you want really good knives. Really, scratch my really head. good knives, but not like exceptional knives. You're researching them. I just stopped because this is the third or fourth take and I really, I don't feel like I'm any closer to answering this question than I was when we started, like, at all. So, I have an idea. You're not going to like this, Alex. Ugh, let me see this. Take this, pull that off there. And hold that up. Hold it up? Yeah, that's your mic. Well, hold it up like you're talking to it, you know? You can clip it to your shirt if you... you like, getting ready for your wrap cover? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Just ignore the mic. Just hold it close to you and, and, and... Yeah, that's good. That's perfect. Yeah. How much would you spend on a knife? Uh, I wouldn't spend more than, like, 200 probably. Okay, see, that's a good starting point. Joe's hungry. It's time to get <laughs> Joe's hungry. It's time to... Well, I can't answer this question. Okay, Joe, hey, another person. Here, hang on, get the mic. We're gonna give him the other mic. Let me do some more like, weird stuff. Be just talking to the mic. Joe, how much money would you spend on a knife? Maximum, like total. Max? Yeah, what would you spend on a knife? Uh... Everyday use or like a keepsake? I don't know. That's not the question. The question is, what would you spend on a knife? I'd spend 50 bucks, 200 bucks on a knife if I'm going to use it and carry it every day. If it's something more expensive than that, it's going on the shelf. Okay, cool. Perfect. Thank you. You're that was the first, that's the first time you've ever been like serious with me. I love it, Joe. It's not I'm serious every day and I'm serious right now. Let's go eat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to just keep, we're going to run with this. We're going to run with this. Let's see if JB is busy. Okay, so this is Jada. I'm not going to tell you who Jada is. This is Jada. We have lunch bunch together, okay? And you've stolen two knives from me. Yes. Okay, that's good. <laughs> if you had to buy your own knife, what's the most you would spend on it? Oh, God. $250. $250. That'd be the most. Like, that's good. If it's a really yeah, great knife. She's, she's more baller than you two. If yeah. it's a great knife. It's a great knife. Okay, but how much do you think that one's worth? Probably more than that. No, that's like a hundred dollar knife. Hundred fifty. Oh, okay. Yeah. So she stole this Reich knife. She didn't steal it. She sort of stole it. Uh, not Reich, Reich, but Reich. It comes in handy. And the baby banter. 
Yes. Baby banter. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. And what's your name? Travis. Travis. Nice to meet you. What is the absolute most you would spend on a knife? Um, 120 bucks, give or take. Okay. That's a really good answer. Okay. Uh, and I, I noticed, the reason I asked is I saw a knife in your pocket. Yeah. Uh, what is it? It's Do you a mind sog. Showing? Sog? Okay. Yeah. It's huge. Holy crap. Yeah, it hides really well. That's a knife. That is a big knife. It hides okay. really well. My yeah. dad actually got it from a retired SEAL that gifted it to me. Yeah, so, okay. SOG makes great stuff. My dad's a huge knife guy, huge gun guy. He was a police officer for 30 years. I'm a veteran. We like weapons. I like yeah. knives. Awesome. Well, cool. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. That was a great answer. Absolutely. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Good. All right. Hey, what's your name? Sarah. Sarah. You are asking about like a gift to give your husband for your anniversary? Yep. Okay, so I'm going to kind of flip the script. What is the most you would spend on a pocket knife? For a gift or for yourself or for anybody? On a pocket knife? Mm -hmm. Or a gift? I mean, $65? 65, 65 bucks, okay. Yeah. All right, that's good. For yourself though, you wouldn't? For myself, I'd probably spend like 25 on a pocket okay. knife. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's actually really good. That's helpful because people are more willing to spend more for somebody else. Oh yeah. Yourself. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, thanks. Yeah, no problem. All right, so we're interrupting David. David is actually Elias's brother, the guy who I thought I might have been buying his Land Cruiser. You guys are, might remember him? This is a brother, and I was going to ask him this question, and then I saw a Michael Kors wallet, so I feel like maybe you're going to give me a good answer. Okay, so how much <laughs> would you spend on a knife, or what is the most you would spend? On, uh, like, a good quality knife? Yeah, good quality pocket knife. Maybe like 125. 125. That's a 125. Seems to be about like normal average so far. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Hey Thomas, uh, we already kind of talked about this a little bit. You started going off the rails, so I stopped you. What is the most you'd spend on a knife? And you can go into it the way you were. Like that's I fine. think it depends on like the utility or the tiers. You know. So okay. you know, with uh, when I process chickens, you know, I can get a good twenty dollar knife that will clean up pretty well. If I want a nice kitchen knife, it'll be. You know, over a hundred dollars, but if I want to go for a collector's knife or a Winkler knife, I'm going to be paying, you know, three to four hundred dollars for a knife. It just, you know, just depends on kind of what I'm going to go out and use it for. Okay, a pocket knife. How about that? We'll just... Pocket knife. Uh, I'd probably go somewhere around probably seventy-five, eighty dollars for a pocket knife. Okay, that's a good range. Yeah. It's actually a really good range. Okay. I did not expect you to drop Winkler. That's it's cool. I still want a Winkler. I don't own one, but yeah, I, it's one. It's it's one of those goals. We'll see if I ever get to it. So. You'll get there. Yeah. Right. Awesome. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Okay. So, Mike, how much, or actually, what is the most you would spend on a knife? That's what we're trying to answer. Um. Okay. So I believe I I'd, I'd probably say anywhere from two hundred to maybe at the most probably six hundred. Okay. 600 bucks. Getting up in like Hinder range. Yeah. Uh, I I know you're a Microtech guy, right? Um, I'm a whatever cuts well. Whatever, 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 whatever functions well uh, kind of guy. Okay. Yeah. What are you carrying today? Um, I do not have it on wow. me. Mortal uh, sin. Yeah, it is. It, uh, I, it's a mortal sin. Coker, Coker. I'm going to get you while we're at it. Yeah, yeah. Since he's already answered and you don't know his answer, what's the absolute most you would spend on a knife? Probably 350 between 350 and 500, depending on the knife. I would, in my mind, I would spend 500. I haven't yet. Okay. Uh, the most I've spent so far is close to 200. Okay. I know you're vying for a Chris Reeve, so I kind of right. added, I kind of knew, but yeah. You know, still yeah, I, I probably would Chris Reeve. I think the name he's made stuff, you know, for our community. Yeah. Uh, it's Idaho, kind of close to where I grew up, so that's where I'm at. I don't know if I would. I would look at stuff higher than that, but I don't know if I would drop, you know, pull the trigger and, and actually, that's a hard one. Okay, so I didn't get your name. Tyler. Tyler, nice to meet you. Yes, sir. Since you said you're a fan of the channel, I, I have am. to ask. I'm I going am. around asking people, what is the absolute most you would spend on a knife, like a pocket knife? Ooh, okay, so I have actually, in like watching your channel, really thought about just grail knives and like what I would do if I was, so yeah, I sure. like said and done would probably spend like 300 on a knife. Okay. Like, I mean, pinnacle of like research for years, something like that, I think I would do, yeah. Okay, well, yeah, what's your grill? Um, truthfully, anything Christopher Reeves. Uh, okay. I don't know that there's like a shape or a style, just, just a Christopher Reeves knife. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, man. 
And are you carrying anything specific today? I, I do actually. I have uh, a Burnley Squid. Okay. Yeah. Green yeah. micarta. Green micarta. Nice. Just love micarta. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Cool. Yeah. I mean, that's. I think that's all I got right now, though. But yeah. yeah. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, brother. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Absolutely, man. Well, thanks for watching so, the channel. Yeah, for sure. And for the coffee. Dude. What's your name? Mark. It's Mark. Nice yep. to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What is the most you would spend on a pocket knife? Ooh. Um, like a hundred bucks. Okay. Yeah, hundred dollars. Yeah, it's a good answer. I was gonna ask this guy, but he ran off. Oh yeah, uh, Kiefer. Yeah, yeah, Kiefer. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna ask him. But, um, yeah. are you carrying any knife today? Well, yeah, I've got a uh, like a little Leatherman. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I yep. saw it. I saw you walk by, and I was like, I have to ask this guy. Oh, yeah. I saw the Leatherman clip. Yep. Yeah, it's it's nice. I mean, before I mm. carried it, I didn't I didn't really realize how much I needed it, but now I use it like every day. You know, it's got yeah. like all the different tools and. Sometimes I use it for things that I don't really need it for, but yeah. like, hey, I have it on me, so I use it. Like, like the Amazon packages that have the tearaway, but exactly. you're still like, I'm going to use a knife anyway. That's right, yeah. Screw exactly. you, Amazon. Yeah. I have a knife. Yeah. <laughs> and the, like the, uh, the Phillips and flathead screwdriver, that comes in handy pretty often, actually. A lot. Yeah, yeah. I use that pretty frequently. All right. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, of course. Hey, man. I just have a question. Sure, what's up, man? What is the absolute most you would spend on a pocket knife? I would spend on a pocket knife? Mm -hmm. I could see a pocket knife being worth like $235, but the most That's I would spend specific. for budget reasons would be like 50. Okay. That was very specific. Why 235? <laughs> I don't know. That's just the number that popped into my head. Okay. 235. Thinking for like a quality, you know, like something that's really legit. Okay. You know, quality craftsmanship. Well, now if I make a knife, Okay. 235 is the number. That's okay. what it's going to be. Great. Thank you for that. I, I couldn't afford it, but some people <laughs> could. <laughs> well, thank you for your answer. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, thank you for your answer. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. thank you for your answer. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Can we reshoot that? <laughs> JB, I, I think I know the answer to this because you have like 80 Civivi knives. What is the most you would spend on a pocket knife? 220. It's way higher than I would have thought. Oh, but you have all these cheaper knives, right? You don't even have your knife? Oh, yeah. The Boker I sold you. I don't remember the name of it. F3.5 is the name of it. Love it. You didn't even know you had it. You forgot know, you bought I know, it. But I really like it. It's just taking me a while to get used to not having the little flipper tab. The little flipper thing, yeah. If they we'll, do a flipper, we'll work on it. All right. All right. Thanks. Cheers. So, well, first, how do, how do you like my... My little tan line. Sick, isn't it? Don't go fishing with your hat backwards. Pro tip. So, I, I really don't know where this leaves us. I think the takeaway is, one, I obviously did not and cannot really answer the question. So, I turned to people across the street to try and help me answer the question. And I feel, I feel like that actually might be a little more valuable to you guys than me trying to figure out this ominous question that really doesn't have a true answer. Like these are real people, some of them knife people, some of them not, it was a good spread of people, but there were a lot of people, I think more people that we asked that weren't really knife people. Like the guy with the Leatherman, not really a knife guy, said he'd spend a hundred dollars on a knife. Uh, the lady who said she would spend 60 on a knife for somebody else, or 65 on a knife for somebody else, but just 25 for herself, um, Joe, He's not really a knife guy. I mean, he has some stuff. He kind of exists in this EDC realm, but he's not a knife guy. Said he'd spend, what, 100 bucks? That, to me, seems higher than I would have expected just random people to answer that question with. So I feel like it was a valuable <laughs> just little experiment for me, and I do feel like it kind of shifted how I wanted to finish this video, for sure. And really, at the end of the day, you're only going to spend what you're comfortable spending. You have to answer a few questions for yourself. How many knives do you want? Do you want a bunch of cheaper knives? Do you want one really expensive knife? What are you going to do with that knife? How is it going to be helpful for you? Does that even matter to you? And more importantly, I think the most important part of this is if you spend a whole lot of money on a knife, are you actually going to use it? Or are you going to be so afraid to use it that it'll just sit in a drawer? Because at that point, just get a bunch of cheaper knives. The only thing that I think you should be concerned with in terms of how much you should spend is if you're buying for someone else and that perception, right? So if you decide to gift somebody a knife, I think there are three tiers. 
There is the tier of someone who is not really a knife person, so to speak, but maybe you're buying them their first knife. Maybe they're a teenager, maybe it's a parent or someone who could use a knife, but they don't really care a whole lot. And I think between $35 and $80 is a very good range for that person. You're going to find some really good knives, really good knives. The Lander, like we were talking about earlier, that Kaiser Assassin, those are really good options in that price range. The second price range is for somebody who might care a little more about nicer things. Maybe there's somebody who likes the finer things in life, whiskey, cigars, people like me, but maybe aren't a knife person. Um, so you could introduce them to a nicer knife. I think for that person, you're looking at a range of more like 100 to maybe $200. $200 is really on the higher end there, but I think there's so many great options in there and you can kind of show them maybe why a knife should or could be worth more money. Um, and then finally, for the knife person in your life, or maybe it's a boss, a retirement gift, uh, someone you really, really care a lot about, that's the kind of person that maybe you could spring for a three to $500 knife for that person. Um, really show your appreciation. Maybe they helped you out big time, changed your life, whatever it may be. So I hope that helps. I do feel like other people's opinion is more valuable than mine at times, a lot of the time actually, because I do have kind of a distorted view of this knife world. I'm too close to know how a non-knife person should feel or how they will approach a situation like this. And I'm, I'm fully aware of that. It happened when I was in tech reviews. The value of the dollar versus what you're buying gets very distorted when you're in a position where you have all of this stuff at your fingertips at all times. So I do feel like sometimes it's better for me to go ask somebody else what they would spend. So I feel like that's more valuable to you guys. And uh, it's not what I intended to do. This is not how I intended this video to go. I thought we would finish this video like four hours ago. And uh, here we are. Lunch was good though. <laughs> anyway, I, I hope that helps. Um, I really do. Let me know what you would spend, the most you would spend on a knife in the comments down below. I am actually genuinely interested to know what you would spend on a knife. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to support what I'm doing, you can go to patreon.com forward slash bestdamedc. That's it for now. Thank you again, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Best answer I can have for this, how much should you spend on a knife? It doesn't matter how much the knife costs. I'm going to go through the wall and just stab Joe. He knows I'm shooting a video right now and he's hammering. F*** you, Joe! I'm doing it. I'm doing it, Caleb. What's the most you would spend on a knife? You can't even do it. You can't be serious. I'm a big fan of the Pioneer Woman. And um, that's what I that's what I everyday carry is a Pioneer Woman steak knife. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's great. Um, I believe that was about at Marshalls, and it was nine dollars. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Sick. Yeah. The most expensive knife someone gave me was like a couple thousand bucks. So, okay. Yeah. Wow. But they gave me that one, so but I you would still never prefer the steak knife. Yeah, I. I uh, you you know, stick it in your pocket. Um, no, I, I wrap it in like a shop towel and shove it in my waistband All right, yeah. and then stick it in someone's neck. I mean, that's what you do with a Pioneer Woman steak knife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. naturally. Yeah, naturally. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. God, you're cute. Thank you. How much do you cost? More than you can afford. Are you sure? <laughs> no, I'm not. All right. <laughs>